What's up, degenerates? Mad Murrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, before I go into today's selections, where we have a few, I just want to touch on some very, very sad news that I found out yesterday was the passing of Oshin Kelly. Um, really, really sad. Oshin's a guy that I grew up in the flapping circuit in Ireland, or most of you know it as the horse and pony racing circuit. And uh, really, really nice guy, always very approachable. I often rode horses for his brother Murdoch back uh, when I used to ride a, a good few years ago. But really sad, so thoughts and prayers are with the Kelly family. So a big loss for all the racing community as well as the horse and pony racing community. You know, Oshin would always come to a lot of the meetings and especially the big ones as well, Dingle and the likes of that. So really, really sad news and uh, thoughts and prayers are with the family during this very, very tough time. Right, we'll move on to today. So we have a few selections. Let's just, before I do that, let's just recap yesterday. Big days racing. We had... Uh, the horse winning, uh, Hurricane Lane winning the St. Ledger. What a performance. Very, very dominant. And Jesus, lads, he's very good, isn't he? Um, You'd have to fancy him maybe showing up in the arc. Uh, it would be a good one to beat him. I know the Phillies are showing some good form. And I thought uh, Tarnawa ran very well yesterday as well. But, geez, if he shows up, it'll be some race if he takes on the snowfall in Tarnawa. We see snowfalls out today. Hopefully she can keep her on beating record this season. So very, very interesting. Then we move over to Ireland. What was an amazing day for Shane Foley and Colin Keane. Two top jockeys having some really, really good results. And then you had Ryan Moore with the St. Max Basilica. Uh, a funny race up the straight. I know people were saying, oh, they, they ended up drifting. I don't know. I, I, I thought Ryan was kind of riding that way just to keep the, the danger off him. And then it just kind of became... A lot more than it's started out to be but still a very exciting race to watch small in structure with only the four runners but the, the main three turned in and uh, yeah what a race looks so at max basilica what a horse very very good like really really good he held off two very good horses there and what was a tactical race like i thought kevin manning had rode the perfect race his horse, you know, you could see him just taking his time, taking his time. And even when Ryan was coming on his outside, he didn't just go. He kept sitting till he had to go. So he done everything he could. But the best horse won. Um, I know he carried Tarnawa a bit wide, but he galloped straight through the line in front. And, and I think it would have been uh, the same result if he'd have kept straight. She, there's no doubt about it. She would have come up his outside. But I don't just think she'd have got him yesterday. Really, really nice to watch so what a day for Shane Foley as well if it's a, if someone had an each way uh lucky on all these rides you'd be collecting some money because they were all placed and three big price winners right let's move on so to today right lads I'm not putting these tips in the description today it's Sunday I'm just going to give you the tips on the video right the 320 a bat bow wolf a little bit uh unlucky the last well unlucky or not it got held up for a minute whether it won or not i'm not so sure but i think he can probably win today off the same mark bow wolf a pint win around the six to five the 355 a bat chipstead this is a sprinter on the up he steps back up to six furlongs and we haven't seen the best of him yet a pint win a three to one then we have glorious rio in the 410 a haydock this horse has been an absolute winning machine for us so a point each way, five to one. Shop around for all the most best places. They're massive fields. So glorious Rio, point each way. And then Prince of Abington in the 4.35. Uh, yeah, nine to one. Definitely a horse that's been running okay. Steps back up and trip. Short, it looks short to suit the way he's been running. Uh, bit, same scenario as glorious Rio's race. Lots of places. Make sure and get all the extra places. And then the 655 of Haydock, Emirati Hero. This is a horse we went for the five points win the last day in um, York. Really, duly obliged, bolted up for us. But I'm not going to get sucked in again today. I know the horse is very well handicapped, but I also know that the trainer can run here without a penalty. Um, and that may, that's maybe why he's going straight into a two-mile race. He is very, very good in this grade and is definitely a better horse than this grade however he steps up a half a mile and trip now it is possible that 
the half of the extra half a mile could suit him because he is very strong at the back end of his races over a mile and a half but i'm not going to rush in and take a chance for sure that it will because on breeding not so much on run style yes but i don't know i won't i'll just go a pint win today we had the five pints win on him the last day and if he stays he should win snow a lot's in that race as well very progressive and he has stayed a mile and six well so it's interesting race so i won't dive into emirati hero if it was a mile and a half today i look if, if it was a mile and a half today in the same grade off the same weight he would be a, a five pints win selection again today so take that how you want but because he's up a half a mile and I know the trainer's probably thinking the horse is in such good form. He's off the same mark. Let's let's run him. Maybe the trainer thinks he'll improve for the trip. It is possible, but uh, I don't know. I thought he was very, very good over a mile and a half to twice. And an extra half mile is a long, long way. So we go to point win. Play it safe. Hope he gets the win. Right, then the 302. A muscle bar. Pretty rebel. You can't knock this one's form. A mile, not so sure. But a mile around muscle bar, she might be able to cope. Uh, she's very good over seven. Well, seven at the car was stiff, but I always thought her she would, could win over six or anything like that. But I think the mile around Musselburgh is definitely within her reach, and she has by far the best form in the book this year. Pretty Rebel, a pint win. And then, of course, check out the, the, the preview for our selections in the car today. But I like Search for a Song in the the big one in the ledger there's definitely a few interesting sprints there today i thought last slippers would take a bit of beating winter power shows up after an amazing performance in york so it's going to be interesting and then the quirky but talented dragon symbol as well right lads enjoy the racing today and uh, yeah hopefully we'll have uh, a few winners there's a couple of selections gone out on the patreon there as well hopefully they'll get it done right lads tips will be on the video there'll be nothing in the description today as it's sunday right thanks the time for cotton is over